Después de tanto tiempo, por fin vienes a visitarme. ¿Por qué? In the wake of Avengers, Loki is lost, struggling to find a place within the family, struggling to find a place within the universe. It's that part of him which Thor appeals to. Necesito tu ayuda. Ojalá pudiera confiar en ti. Si confiara, serías tan insensato como siempre creí. In this film, Thor needs Loki, so it's an interesting dynamic. Thor is basically bringing him back from the brink, re-recruiting him as Thor's brother and Thor's wingman. In a way. Nos enfrentamos a un enemigo que conocen unos pocos. Uno, en realidad. Si no hacemos nada, van a destruirnos. Conflict between brother and brother is one of the main engines of the Thor movies. You know, they can't stand each other, but they love each other and they need each other. It's just, you know, typical brothers, but heightened. Debes saber que si me traicionas, te mataré. ¿Cuándo empezamos? the villain, but we kind of love him, you know, and I think any time you can do that, it makes it so much more interesting. There's a fun in watching Thor having to collaborate with someone that is probably the least trustworthy creature in the universe. He's someone who knows his true nature and is having a really good time. Esto es por Nueva York. Me gusta. We need to be true to just how unpredictable and perverse this character is, but we have to take him somewhere we haven't seen him before. Loki's kind of walking the line where you don't quite know which sides you're going to fall to. Oh, el hijo de Odin, nacido para ser rey. Debes de estar realmente desesperado para venir a pedirme ayuda. 